You don't know me, but I know you. If you are watching this video, then I assume you are a fan of Saw. And as you are probably aware, the original Saw is now 20 years old. How does that make you feel? So in honor of its 20th anniversary, here are 20 fun facts about Saw. Number 1. Screenwriter and star Lee wan -El first got the idea of the Jigsaw Killer when he was suffering from terrible migraines and his doctors thought it might be a brain tumor. While waiting for his results, which were thankfully negative, he thought a great deal about how facing one's own mortality would change them. He also cites David Fincher films like Seven and The Game as major inspirations. Number two. After meeting in film school in Australia, Lee wan -El and Saw director James Wan traveled to Hollywood with a dream of making their own movie. In order to gain attention, they actually made a short film directed by Wan and starring wan -El, which was essentially the reverse bear trap scene from the movie. This served as a proof of concept, which secured them funding from Lionsgate. Number three. An earlier draft of the script had the characters trapped in an elevator instead of an industrial bathroom. Number four. With a limited budget of roughly $1 million, the production schedule was tight to say the least. They only had 18 days of filming in the fall of 2003, with actors like Monica Potter being on set for three days and Shawnee Smith completing all of her scenes in just one, which according to Smith was very exhausting. Number five, despite being known for kickstarting the torture porn trend of the 2000s, James Wan always saw the original Saw as more of a Hitchcockian thriller meets Giallo. Compared to the sequels, the gore is actually pretty tame in the first movie. Number six, while the entire Saw franchise never actually says the name of the city that it's set in, the first movie was entirely shot in Los Angeles, with all of the sequels being shot in Toronto. Number 7. James Wan made the Creepy Billy doll himself from scratch. We would later see his penchant for creepy dolls in movies like Dead Silence and, of course, The Conjuring. Number 8. Tobin Bell really did lie on the floor for the entire week they were shooting the bathroom scene. In the audio commentary of the movie, Lee wan -El and James Wan joked that they hired a classically trained Shakespearean actor just to have him lie on the floor. Number 9. One of Tobin Bell's reasons for accepting the role was the chance to work with Danny Glover. Number 10. Casting director Amy Lippins cast her own husband, Paul, in the role of Mark. Unfortunately, however, they filed for divorce in the time between filming the movie and its release. Number 11. Carrie Elwes once remarked that he felt very dirty filming this movie, especially during the week spent on the bathroom scene. In an interview, he said that during filming, he had to go out to dinner with friends one night, and no amount of showering could wash the bathroom off of him, at least in his mind. Number 12. In the scene in which Amanda is rifling through the stomach of her not-so-dead cellmate, the close-ups of her hands are actually Lee wan -El's. Because of the tight shooting schedule and them only having Shawnee Smith for one day, they didn't have time to get the close-ups, and thus James Wan and Lee wan -El had to go back and shoot it themselves. Number 13. Speaking of Amanda's not-so-dead cellmate, he was played in a cameo role by producer Oren Coley's. He would go on to produce every sequel in the Saw series, and also randomly serve as the executive producer on Two and a Half Men. Number 14. During the struggle between Adam and Zepp, Lee wan -El accidentally punched Michael Emerson in the face for real. He felt terrible about it, and fortunately, Michael Emerson was okay. Number 15. The car chase between Detective Tapp and Zepp was shot with both actors sitting in parked cars in a garage. The filmmakers just shone bright lights at them and moved the camera in a very rapid, manic way so as to create the illusion of movement. Lee wan -El called it the poor man's way to shoot a car chase. Number 16. Lionsgate had initially planned to release Saw direct to video, 
but after a very positive reception at the Sundance Film Festival, they decided to release it theatrically on Halloween weekend in 2004. Number 17. Saw 2 was immediately greenlit by Lionsgate after Saw's very successful opening weekend, grossing $18 million on its mere $1 million budget. By the end of its theatrical run, it had grossed over $100 million. Number 18. Nearly a year after the film's release, Carrie Elwes filed a lawsuit alleging that he was promised a 1% share of the film's net profits and that he had never received that compensation. The case was settled out of court, and Elwes would eventually return to the franchise in the seventh movie. So you could say they buried the hatchet, or should we say, the saw. Number 19. In the film's audio commentary, James Wan and Lee Wan-El joked that the release of the movie saw an increase in sales of keys, padlocks, and cassette tapes due to everyone out there making Saw traps of their own. Number 20. Saw was nominated for Best Horror Film at the Saturn Awards in 2005, but unfortunately lost to Shaun of the Dead. Congratulations. If you have made it this far, that means you have survived your test and watched the entire video. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive, but not you. Not anymore. Like, share, subscribe, and remember, every day is Halloween. Ooh.